we wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about um, glove use. Through the course of the last several months, we've seen a really, really significant increase in the amount of gloves that are being used. Um, and that gave us a bit of pause and we just wanted to stop and think about whether the, the gloves that are being used, whether it's always appropriate, whether it reflects just an increase in isolation activity at our sites. And we thought we could take this opportunity to just have a quick refresher about, you know, why we use gloves and when we use gloves. So, you know, of course, infection control is never going to talk without starting to talk about the importance of hand hygiene. And the use of gloves is um, never a substitute for hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is and continues to be the most significant step that you can take to protect yourself and to protect your patients. When you're deciding when to use gloves, I'm also going to put in a bit of a pitch for the use of the point of care risk assessment. Um, we talk about the point of care risk assessment a lot. It's the provider's opportunity to make good decisions about what kind of PPE they might need for specific interactions with patients. So that might mean you know that you're going in to draw blood. And so you're always going to use gloves for that kind of a procedure. Um, you know that you're going to have contact with blood and bodily fluids. And so you may choose to use glove and gowns in that situation. And of course, always when patients are on additional precautions, it's important that you follow the instructions on the poster that's posted on the door to the patient's room or the patient's care space. Gloves are not meant to be used for routine care activities. So when you're coming into contact with intact skin or clean clothes or a clean environment, unless the patient is on additional precautions, there's no need to wear gloves in those instances. So why do we wear gloves? So firstly, they're to protect you. They're to protect you in the event that you have a risk of exposure to blood and body fluids. Secondly, they're to prevent transmission of microorganisms from patient to patient. So they're also to protect the patient from you. And then thirdly, uh, one of the big reasons that we use gloves is when we're using chemicals. So when you're cleaning equipment, using disinfectant wipes, managing waste and laundry, again, those are things that are meant to prevent injury to you. If you're going to be in contact with mucous membranes or non-intact skin, then that's also an indication to always wear gloves. There's been lots of questions and um, I think lots of commentary around double gloving. So double gloving is only recommended in very specific circumstances. Um, one of those circumstances is for certain types of surgical procedures where there's a, quite a big risk of penetration of the glove. There are some other activities where double gloving is recommended, and that would be in, uh, in preparing some chemotherapeutic agents. Double gloving may also be recommended for certain types of infectious diseases like viral hemorrhagic fever. Uh, COVID-19, though, is not one of those diseases for which double gloving is recommended. So I guess in closing, uh, two things to really emphasize. Um, hand hygiene, again, is the most important thing that you can do to protect yourself and to protect your patients from infectious diseases. Um, gloves are a very useful adjunct, but not a replacement for hand hygiene. For more information about gloves, what kind of gloves to choose, when to wear them, you can go to the link that's embedded in this, um, at the bottom of the picture, to go to the IPC website on the uh, AHS external web. This will give you all kinds of useful information about when gloves are needed and what types of gloves are needed for specific patient interactions. Thank you. Together, we do amazing things every day.